What's up everybody, this is Danny and welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Smart Home. And today I've partnered with Samsung to show you their brand new affordable smart home products for under $100. The SmartThings Hub is one of the best hubs to make all your smart home products talk to each other. But today I wanna to show you some great hardware additions to the SmartThings ecosystem, the new smart plug, the light bulb, and what I'm most excited about, the SmartThings Cam. What's great is the Wi-Fi smart plug and the camera don't need the hub to be a part of your smart home. So let's start with this first because it packs a huge punch for the price, offering a lot of features that are associated with much more expensive cameras. I spent about a week with it so far, so I wanna share my experience with you. Everything you need is in the box when you pick one up. One of the easiest setups ever. All you need is the SmartThings app on Android or iOS. Just tap on SmartThings on compatible brands, hit camera, and a few steps later, and a QR code scan, and that's pretty much it. This is an indoor camera with a crisp 1080p resolution captured at 30 frames per second with HDR in a super wide field of view. Most smart home cameras float around the 130 degree field of view, but this one has a super wide 145 degree field of view. So with one camera, I'm able to get my entire kitchen, living room, and porch area. So this could reduce the amount of cameras you need to cover your home. But if you don't need that wide angle, you can actually turn that off along with HDR in the settings. This is a nice image though with HDR. It's great for preserving details in difficult lighting situations. Like my porch door, you can still see some detail there where without HDR, this would be totally blown out. One of the best things about having one of these cameras in your house is to be able to check on your home at any time from anywhere in the world. If anything happens, I get a notification to my phone. I feel a sense of security knowing that I can see what's going on at all times. But if you ask people what the most annoying thing is about having a connected camera in your house when the monitoring is on is the amount of false notifications that you get. So I was happy to see smart things include activity zones. This helps a ton because I can choose the area that I want the camera to actively monitor. So if you have pets, this is really going to help. Let's say that your pet jumps on the couch throughout the day, just go around that area. Smart things makes it easy to arm the camera whenever you need to. The built-in motion sensor is smart enough to detect motion or also recognize a person. So if there's an intruder, you will get a notification. It starts recording right away and up to 60 second clips. And you can download these right to your phone. And there is two-way audio built in. So if there is an intrusion, then you can say words to them that I cannot say in this video. But if you want an example of what it sounds like, here's an audio clip. So here's what the two-way talk sounds like on the Samsung SmartThings cam. Let me know what the vocals sound like. While it does not record 24 seven, the big bonus is that 24 hours of cloud storage is free up to four cameras. So I think a lot of people will be happy with that. But if you need 30 day cloud recording, it costs $7.99 per month or $79.99 yearly. When you pick up this camera, you'll get to try the premium subscription for free for one month so you can experience what it's like. What's also a win is that this camera costs $89.99 and you do not need the SmartThings Hub to use it. And for people that are worried about security, this camera includes a TPMS or Trusted Platform Module Security Chip that's built in so that's nice to see in this price point. I feel like this is a great first effort for Samsung, so I can't wait to see other products released in the SmartThings lineup, like maybe an outdoor camera or maybe a doorbell. That would be awesome. Since I already own other Samsung products in the home, the integration through the SmartThings platform is really cool. Since I have a camera in my garage apartment office, my wife can access this camera on the Family Hub fridge. This is really convenient, especially if you're in the kitchen and you get a notification from the garage. Same thing if you're enjoying a movie, but you get that suspicious notification. You don't need to hunt down your phone. You can see it right on the TV and act accordingly. Two other additions to the SmartThings hardware lineup is the Wi-Fi smart plug and the smart light bulb. Both great entry points into smart home. The smart plug is $17.99 and it can automate basically anything that plugs into the wall with an on and off switch. This plug is nice and compact, connects easily with the SmartThings app, and you don't need a hub either for this one. 
You can automate this switch with voice assistance so you can have lamps turn on and off, or you can put it into routine. So let's say in a good morning routine, you can have it hooked up to a coffee maker to have that fresh pot of coffee when you wake up. These are so essential to the smart home. If you don't wanna use the app, you can just use the button here on the side to turn them on and off. But I personally love automating my Christmas tree during the holidays. The last thing is the SmartThings Smart Light Bulb. These will retail for $9.99 each. This is the only product out of the bunch that you do need the hub to use. Smart lighting is pretty much the first thing that you should buy for your home. It's so convenient, and once you have it, you definitely can't live without it. If you're coming home late at night and you wanna turn on your lights before you get home, you can definitely do that. You can set them on a routine when you're on vacation so you can make your house look lived in for security and just control them from anywhere in the world through the app or a voice assistant. If you're looking at smart lighting for a good price and wanna save energy along the way, then the SmartThings bulb should be something that you should look into. While I like all three of these products, I think the SmartThings Cam is the most compelling, a great option for under $100, and for what you're getting for the price, this is going to be popular, it's affordable, it's feature-packed, and you're getting a camera with security from a well-known brand. It's also compatible with Bixby, Google Assistant, and Amazon Alexa, so it's versatile. I'm digging it. So let me know what you think about these products, and if you're interested in a Ultimate Smart Home Samsung Edition, also let me know in the comment section below. I'm actually in the process of tying all my smart home products together with the SmartThings Hub right now, so I'll definitely keep you updated. So thank you for watching another episode of Ultimate Smart Home. I'll leave all the products linked down below so you can pick them up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.